Welcome to this introductory video on the user interface for Global Alert Link version 8.0. While we still have the same features you've come to know and love and trust with the Global Alert Link product, we have made some changes to streamline how you interact with the data, providing information for you quickly at your fingertips no matter where you are in the system. Let's take a look at the new user interface. Across the top, we have a persistent toolbar. This is your main navigation bar. Here, you'll have access to your organization or business units through the corporate. GIS, if you have installed this. Your admin functions, such as system management, lock management, referential data custom fields, as well as relationship mapping and help. Here you'll have access to the user guide as well as the about information for the product. Right below the main navigation bar is the location bar. This location bar is a fast way to see exactly where you are within Global Alert Link. Here you can see that I'm in the business unit for Corp Head Office. This designates my current location as well as my current business unit. And when I make changes, this will change as well. I'm going to go back to the top bar and go all the way over to the right. This is the account profile. The account profile provides every user access to change their own password, log out of Global Alert Link, and additionally it shows the current user's ID. The search field as well as the components can always be found running down the left hand side of the screen no matter where you are in the system. The search feature can be used for any of the components below it and provides basic as well as limited search capabilities within Global Alert Link. The components going down the bar are news, and updates. This is posted information relating to plans, events, or business units. So depending upon where I am within Global Alert Link, the news may change. Contacts, which is contact management area of the system. Documents, where critical information is stored. Plans, this houses action steps such as assigned tasks, status changes, decisions, or even broadcast messages, as well as response procedures and critical information. Below plans are events. Here you'll see action steps used once a plan has been launched. The wrench signifies resources. These are resources that are needed in critical situations. Below that, the sheet of paper is for forms. Here you can create forms and add data to a plan or event. Below that, messages. It allows for messages to be sent, tracked, as well as viewed. Below that are reports. Allows reports to be created with specific data types, scopes, and fields based upon the user's choice. If we go back up to the top, you'll notice that vital signs of my tasks and my forms have moved. In our older versions of the product, they could be found down on the right-hand side of the screen. By moving them up to the top, we've not only provided you with quick access to these features, no matter where you are in the system, we've also freed up useful space in the center of your screen. Vital signs will provide you with a snapshot of the entire enterprise, as well as drill-in capabilities for each organizational unit. My Tasks, this area provides a list of all of the active action step responsibilities for the user. My Forms, this section provides access to a list of all the forms that a user needs to complete. So if a form has been assigned to a user, that can be found quickly here in My Forms. Something new is the Organizational Dashboard. This feature allows a user to access custom dashboards as well as entry screens. Prior to release 8.0, this feature did not exist for customers. Using the Filter button, in conjunction with a component from the left-hand side of the screen, you can start to filter the information that is available to you. Here I have contacts open and I've chosen to filter while I'm in the business unit of KW. If I take the check mark out of contacts, there'll be nothing left to filter. If there was subfolders beneath that, I would be able to filter down to the direct folder. There's also the add button which allows me to add depending upon the component I'm in. So if I'm in news and updates and I wanted to add something, I could simply click on the add button and if I have the correct permissions, I can add the news or the update. Lastly, is the refresh button. This button is available to everyone and if they want to make sure that they have the latest information at any given time they simply need to click on it and it will refresh the information. We hope that you too will find the changes we've made to the user interface to be helpful allowing you to be more productive and efficient as you go through using the Global Alert Link product.